Today we're going to show you how simplistic it is to assemble a PPC linear MLA XYZ system and, a, and then operate it using a Deloitte Automation multi-axis control. This is our Deloitte multi-axis control. Here's a couple standoff blocks that I'm going to use to raise the level of the actuator uh, assembly. This is our Z axis here. This is our Y axis. And this is our X axis. First, I'm going to assemble, mount our X axis to the standoffs uh, and uh, clamp flanges. Got the uh, clamp flanges that basically mount into the extrusion sides and then actually grab that side and then uh, the uh, uh, flange then pull it down onto the riser blocks. Okay. I'm not going to plug in so we get our control basically set up. We always want to have our plugs in first before we uh, before we uh, turn on the control. This is our y-axis. So this is number five. And this is our x-axis. This is number six. And this is our z-axis. This is number seven. And then we're going to plug our interface from the computer to the control that allows us to communicate, download programs. And then we're going to basically uh, connect power. Let that basically get uh, booted up. So we're going to mount our X, excuse me, our Y and our Z together. We got our Y and our Z going here, and then we've got um, uh, Y and Z goes together, and then we mount that to our X axis. And then we'll be ready to rock and roll at this point. Okay, we've got uh, this mounting up nicely with the clamp flanges also grabbing the outside of the extrusion. Once we get this done, we're then going to go through a power up sequence, and I have a couple demos that I'll be able to show you. Okay, looks like we're getting close to getting powered up. Just going to make sure everything is nice and tight. And then we've got uh, clamp flanges going here. Got one more screw to basically get nice and snug here. Okay. It's real nice and tight. Make sure our z-axis is nice and snug. Let's draw position. Okay. And then we're going to start up our program. I have a couple uh, demo programs that I've created. Uh, one is uh, actually a kind of a biotech application. It's actually going to go over to a reagent uh, location. Uh, put a drop of pipette into that reagent and then uh, come over and then populate a well plate. But first, uh, before I do that, I'm going to set my uh, Z axis position, uh, set home, and get my Y axis position, set home, and then my X axis position. Clear those all out, make those all zeros, that will set home position. And then I'm going to uh, click on populate and we'll see how that operates. That's going to go to a down position, a set position for the pipe that it's going to be. It's going to go over to my well plate, excuse me, my reagent location well, and then it's going to go over to a well plate location. 
and it's going to then go into that well plate and go through a series of moves uh, populating that well plate in uh, five different locations. Once it's completed that, uh, that row, it's going to go back to the well plate reagent uh, location where it will then uh, pipette again and then go back to the well plate. Okay, that is the end of our demonstration. Thank you.